Venturing into a dark fantasy full of dragons and gore, Berserk is herald as one of the best manga of all time. Will these figures have the guts to stand up to the hype? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Snook, and today we are taking a look at a brand new series coming to SH Fig Arts. That's right, we are taking a slight detour from the Dragon Ball content right here on the channel to take a look at Berserk. That's what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at Guts and also Griffith coming to the SH Figure Art lines. So please, I need you on this. Berserk fans out there, please let me know. I'm just taking a look at aesthetically and see if these look awesome or pleasing. I need you to tell me down in the comments below if these are accurate. I need your help. So to start off, guys, we're gonna take a look at Guts. And here he is, guys. He looks fantastic. That black looks so menacing. This is stated that he is in his Berserk armor. Please let me know what that means. I don't know what that means. The first thing my eyes go to is that very long sword. That thing is sick. It kind of reminds me from the big sword from Ichigo from the Shikai, how large that is and how he's able to swing that around. It looks very broad, very shiny, and that texture looks really nice in the middle. I think that sword is going to be a big staple for this figure, and it looks just super damn cool. Now, taking a look at his attire and his cape, everything is in black except for his strap here. He's got two daggers and a knife. Looks like he's got some pouches as well. And of course, it looks like he's got some maybe more throwing knives over here on his leg. Looks very, very cool. Everything is black. It almost looks like dragon scale armor to me. I know he is known as the dragon slayer, so I assume and kind of put two and two together. Again, correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong, but this looks really cool. The black and just the way it moves on his body looks fantastic. Taking a look at the head here, guys, he's got one eye closed and one eye open. Looks really, really cool. I think he loses an eye and I know he loses an arm because this is definitely a robotic arm. Please keep spoilers out from the comments below. Just recommend. Please give your elevator pitch why we should watch this series, but please keep spoilers out. Don't ruin it for people in the comments, please. But I think that is all I can say from this first photo other than maybe his cloak. His cloak looks really cool. It's hard to tell if it's just gonna be cloth. It doesn't look plastic to me, but it also could be that cloth with a wire here. Taking a look at the cape down at the bottom here, it's very tattered, it's very battered. It looks like he's been on the run or part of a mercenary group or something something where he hasn't had a lot of time to rest up at villages. So it, there is gonna be a lot of wear and tear on this cape and you can tell down here at the bottom. All right guys, moving on to next photo here we've got a close-up of guts he's got the sword it definitely shows that texture right in the middle of that blade and also he's got a gun this looks really cool and also it shows a closer look at his face there's a not a lot of articulation that we can see here but it also shows the detail that they're going into this figure he looks really really cool really well shaded and also the cuts and bruises all over his arms and the wraps on his arms and this possibly can either hinge or be a completely different part. I'm not sure, but just taking a very, very close look at this photo, it looks phenomenal. Taking a look at the next photo here, guys, we've got a jumping slashing pose. He is lunging forward, his cape is standing out, but he's got a yelling face, guys. This looks sick, he looks super pissed. It looks like he's about to take somebody out and just rock their world. Guys, I'm not really big into the series because I haven't started it, but I'm teetering. I'm teetering about getting this figure. All right, guys, take a look at the next photo here. Here is a different arm. It looks like we get with guts. He's got like a just straight laced face, still that eye closed and eye open here. We can see a little bit more. It's not so dark with the legs here, but also he's got this different arm. This is like a gun crossbow. It, it look, I, I don't know what this is, guys. I'm not gonna try to pretend like I know what this is. What the hell is going on here? What is this? What is that? What is that? Well, anyway, let's go ahead and move to the next photo because I could spend all day figure, trying to figure out what the hell that thing is, but let's go ahead and take a look at the next photo. Here we go, guys. We've got the superhero pose. One knee, hit the sword over his shoulders. Looks fantastic. Shows a little bit more of the flexibility so we can get those knees at 90 degrees. And of course, we have an open palm hand right here for his robotic hand. You've got the clasping hand we've seen multiple times in these photos. And of course, that straight laced face as well. Looks like we got some more scars on his body. This guy is going to be highly detailed and looks fantastic. 
fantastic. Looking at the next photo, here we go. We got another action pose, another slashing pose, but taking a look at another face mold we get, we get the grimacing face. And of course we get the clasp hand with the robotic hand. And of course that same hand we've got before, but he's slashing down with that really big sword. This sword is going to be massive. This is, I think is gonna be a big price point increase for this figure why it's going to be a little bit more expensive because this blade is going to be so damn big and it's a huge accessory taking a look at the back of guts's head here is his curse mark or whatever this is what is this i'm going to call it a curse mark i'm going to call it a blood oath maybe i don't know it looks great the detail that they've put on this figure is insane it definitely looks like it's carved in the back of his neck you can see the scars on both sides of his neck as well like he's been through some some hell and then of course the the detail that they put on the actual printing around the scar looks fantastic this thing is crazy detailed and i am so so on board for this one and guys taking a look at the last photo of guts here it's just going to be another action pose just going to show you the flexibility he's got in his lower half and of course his blade i do not believe that the figure is going to be have this much strength in the arm and the core to hold this up i believe there's some photoshop magic going on there's probably a stand here but i could be wrong and i hope i'm wrong just another pose to show you how badass he looks and really sell you on this figure are you sold yet i'm getting there and guys, with guts out of the way, and I do not mean that in a bad way, we are gonna bring on the next figure in the line, and that is Griffith. And here he is, guys, Griffith. He looks fantastic. I love the contrast between guts being the dark black and him being the white angel type. This cape right here definitely looks like it has a wire in it. So you're gonna be able to do all this stuff, I believe, with this cape. Looks fantastic, I'm sold. But taking a look at the face mold, we just got a straight laced face and of course his awesome looking rapier. The armor looks super sick and of course his stark white hair that flows around his body. He's got the spurs down here on his feet and the pointy toes. You've got all the articulation as well. I can see a hinge there and of course his knee, his ball joint and his ankle all the way up through his body to his arm as well everything that you're expecting in sh figure arts in this line is going to be here for articulation wise i don't think there's going to be anything special with this character articulation wise but he looks fantastic and i cannot wait to see the next photo guys holy smokes this looks sick does he actually come with the horse that is insane guys he's got the helmet so this is going to be a completely different head i would imagine because he can't get all that hair in that head he's got the grasping hands to hold the reins of the horse and of course the horse itself the horse is actually decked out in armor as well armor on its face its breast place and of course its hindquarters this looks super awesome and a figure that's going to come with the horse that is going to blow me away but also it's going to make my wallet probably scream Taking a look at the next photo here, guys, it is Griffith on the horse again. He's got his face plate up this time so you can see his face. I love the mobility of you being able to tilt up and down the face mask. I hope that's gonna be the case in this. I hope it's not two different heads to get that aesthetic, but I think that looks great the white and the godlike and the angel is really coming through that's the vibes i'm getting from this character he looks awesome and i cannot say enough about this horse that you're going to be able to get an entire horse i know other companies like figma have done horses before i don't know if sh figuart has ever done a horse before and i know with figma it was more of an additive but i've never seen sh figuarts to do a horse correct me if i'm wrong but this looks fantastic all right so we're gonna scoot that horse away and we're gonna take a little bit closer look at griffith and Himself. I know we were blown away with the horse, but we got to get back to the guy. This looks fantastic, guys. He's got his helmet down. It's a closer look at the knight armor that he has. He's got the angel wings up his shoulder here. He's got his rapier in there. And if you can see right in here, he's got his sheath. And I believe that sword is actually going to be able to be sheathed. I don't think it's two different parts. I think they're going to do that. They are doing that with the Super Saiyan Trunks, the new boy from the future. If you don't know how to get that one, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Low, but they're getting the technology better where you can actually mold a sword and mold a sheath and they go together you don't have to have separate pieces which is super super cool and taking a look at the next photo we are back to the horse i thought we were done but we are not here's just another battle pose of him driving into battle on the horse he's got his rapier out to the right he's got that clasp pan again a clasp pan around the rapier it looks freaking cool guys this is blown away of how much detail are on these figures i really think that is amazing what they're doing and the fact that they're putting the level of detail in these figures 
is freaking awesome. Taking a look at the next photo here, guys, we've got him with his helmet off. This is kind of what I wanted to see. What face place are we going to get with Griffith? I don't think there's going to be very many. He's got maybe a light smirk. This might be the same one as before. I can't really tell. And we've got the two open palm hands here. It looks like he's wanting some more action or telling you to come on, really taunting, inviting you to come in and test him. And of course, here's that sword, guys. It is sheathed right now. So my prediction, I believe, is right. That sword is going straight into the sheath which is freaking awesome. And guys, taking a look at the knighting pose, he is on one knee. It shows the flexibility and he is very slender. I am very surprised at actually how slender he is looking at his thigh and his knees and of course his calf muscle. There's such a big difference between the black and the white, the skinny and the thick, the tiny sword and the big sword. It's crazy how much differences there are between these two characters and almost how they're in every possible way polar opposites. So guys, we got a couple more photos of Griffith. I just want to flip through real quick. And here's the next one. He is just standing there with his rapier out with his long flowing locks, just blowing in the wind as well, along with his cape looks great guys. And guys, this figure is just selling me for every photo I flip through. Have they sold you yet? And guys, the last photo is just a standalone of the horse. I think we've touched base on everything the horse comes with, but he looks so cool. We get actually a better look at the saddle with the gold around him. It's just such a drastic change in what actually is coming with that stage figure arts and really opens the possibility for new anime. And the detail in these figures are crazy now guys that we've gone through all the photos of both griffith and also guts let's talk about how you can get these guys these guys are going to be general release so wherever you want to get him these are two retailers i use pretty consistently and i feel confident enough if you pre-order your stuff from them you will be satisfied and i want to start off with guts at big bad big bad has them right now for 99.99 he is pre-orderable right now guys he's gonna be a hundred dollars you have to put ten dollars down unlike big bad usually you pay after the fact right now you will have to put ten dollars down and it is non-refundable guts is gonna be a little bit cheaper over at kappa hobby at 92.88 with free shipping to anywhere domestically within the united states 10 percent off international shipping so if you live outside of the u.s you can get 10 percent off of the shipping price but he's gonna be 92.88 over on kappa you do have to put up all the money right up the gate when you pre-order from kappa but if you're wanting guts, these are the two retailers that you can drop some money down right now and guarantee that you're going to get guts in your collection. Griffith over at Big Bad is going to be $144.99. That sounds about right to me with the additive cost of adding a horse. It looks about $100 for the figure and pretty much $50 for the horse. And combine those together, you get about that $150 mark. I think that is accurate. With Big Bad, you can put it in your pile of loot. They will hold your figures up to 90 days in your pile of loot. There is a $14.50 down payment for Griffith on Big Bad. So if you pre-order them and you decide cancel later, you will lose that $14.50 because it is non-refundable. And guys, Griffith is 13088 over on Kappa Hobby. That one, you again, you will have to put all the money down, but he is a little bit cheaper. And guys, just to remind you, these are general release. I'm just giving you two retailers. If you want to go get them, you can. They are pre-orderable right now at these two websites. I'll leave a link down below. And guys, the release date for Guts is November of 2023, so we will have them by the end of this year. And Griffith is not far behind with a month delay at December of 2023. And guys, the last bit of news I'm going to leave you was for Dragon Ball Z collectors out there. Android 20 is officially coming to SH Figure Art Lines. We we will find out in the next month or so details about Android 20 and how we're going to be able to get them and where we're going to be able to pre-order. So if you do not want to miss that, hit the subscribe bell, add this channel to your collection, and please let me know if I got anything in Berserk wrong. Shout out down in the comments below. Please correct me. Please sell me on this series. However, I should consume this anime or manga. Please let me know down in the comments below. And guys, if you do not know, you can get your Android 19 for pre-order over on P Bandai. You want to know how? Click on this. This video right here also youtube thinks you will like this one and i appreciate you guys for watching the video i have been snook i'll see you in the next one